Welcome to this review of the Jimdo online store. One of the main benefits of the store is that it is fully integrated into the website builder, which we have reviewed in a separate video. You can find it on WebsiteToolTester.com or on YouTube. So let's start on this demo page. We're going to set up an online store with one product. First, we need to adjust the settings in the back end. I click on Settings and scroll down to where it says Store. In Settings, you can now select your store's currency. Add an email address and select the location of your store. You can also let Jimdo handle sales tax. However, Jimdo will only use this sales tax for in-state orders. At this time, it is not possible to define state-specific tax rates, which is a bit of a disadvantage if you are from the U.S. But there is a workaround for this. PayPal is able to handle state-specific tax rates. If you set up PayPal as the only payment option, everything can be handled automatically. What many people don't know, it is not necessary for your customers to have a PayPal account to make a purchase with a credit card. I can show you how it works with this live Jimdo online store of BikeWrappers.com. I choose PayPal, my country, and click Next. Now I choose the option don't have a PayPal account and can process my order without opening a PayPal account. Let's continue in Jimdo's e-commerce settings. You can use Jimdo's inventory tracking so you'll never show items on your website that are sold out. Next are shipping time descriptions and item numbers. You can also notify your customers automatically when the item has left the warehouse. Here you can see the payment options your Jimdo online store is able to offer. Shipping costs is next. Basically, you can set a standard and an international shipping charge. Decide whether you want to have a maximum shipping charge and the minimum order amount when shipping will be free for your customers. Under International, you can specify the individual countries that can or cannot order from your store. Unfortunately, right now, it is not possible to set individual shipping charges per country. Next are some legal texts, your terms of service and refund policy. It is also possible to customize order confirmation emails for your store's requirements. Finally, decide what data you need from your customers to be able to process orders. Now we have set up the store and are able to add products. First, I create a new page called Online Store. I add a new store item and click to edit it. Let's add a name and a description for this product which will be a tripod for photographers. Now I add three photos. A very nice detail is the detailed zoom functionality, as you can see here. We still need to set a price and availability. With this somewhat hidden link, you can add product variations. For example, different colors or sizes.
Let's save this, and we're done. Our product is ready to be sold online. If you like, you can also add a nice little preview to your home page using the store catalog element. Using this feature lets you showcase your latest items. What Jimdo offers is one of the most easy to use online stores that exist. Everything has been developed in-house. That means the look and feel are exactly the same as in the rest of Jimdo's website builder. You can literally start selling product to a national or international audience within 10 minutes. If it's a small store with 15 or less items, Jimdo Pro will be sufficient. If you need more items, there is the Jimdo Business Plan. In neither of the two plans is there a sales fee. Right now, Jimdo doesn't support an automated sales process for digital goods, which hopefully will be added in the future. To get started, you can create an account with Jimdo Free and build your own e-commerce site. If you need any further information about Jimdo or comparable website builders, please check out WebsiteToolTester.com. And if you found this video interesting, I would appreciate if you could like it on Facebook or YouTube. Thank you.